Plant and Animal Cell Presentation by Sophie Trafton. This is my plant cell. The parts of the plant cell are the cell wall. The cell wall is the outer box. Then there's the cell membrane. It's the inner box. It's like the inner wall. The ribosomes are an organelle inside of the set plant cell. The mitochondria are the q-tips with the rubber band. The vacuoles are the blue storage area. The nucleus is the cap. The Golgi bodies are the yellow sacs that look the yellow things that look like deflated sacs. The chloroplasts are the green rubber bands. The endoplasmic reticulum is this. The green is the rough and the orange is the soft. And the cytoplasm is the silver stuff that's around all the organelles. This is the function of the plant cell and its parts. The function of the cell wall the cell wall, which is in plant cells only, is to protect the cell and help the plant hold its shape. Then there's the cell membrane. The cell membrane, the main function of the cell membrane, is to protect the cell from its surroundings. Then there's the nucleus. The nucleus is like the control center. It, it, it helps to control eating, movement, and reproduction of cells. Next is the chloroplasts. The chloroplasts are also only in plant cells. Their job is to make food from sunlight. These are the mitochondria. The mitochondria's job is to act like the di digestive system. The endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum acts like the manufacturing and packaging. And then there's the Golgi bodies. They act like the assembly factory. Next is the cytoplasm. It's just like air. It's to fill all the empty space. Then there's the ribosomes. The job of the ribosomes is to build the proteins of the cell and the vacuole. The job of the vacuole is to hold all the cellular waste that could harm the cell. Comparing the plant cell. I compared my plant cell to a kitchen. I said that the walls on the outside are like the cell wall. They hold the kitchen together and conceal it from the outside. The door is like the cell membrane. It lets things in and out. The fridge is like the vacuole. It stores everything. It holds food. The sink is like the nucleus. Everything in the kitchen needs water. And everything it Everything in the cell needs the nucleus to control it. The stove is like the chloroplasts. They help cook the food. In a cell, they make food from the sunlight. In a kitchen, the stove makes food from the vacuum. The air that fills this kitchen is just like the cytoplasm in a cell. It fills all the empty space. The dishwasher is like the my mitochondria. It digests all the food and cleans everything. The microwave is like the endoplasmic reticulum. In order to be eaten, things have to be heated up. The cabinets are like the ribosomes. They build the proteins. They hold all snacks and silverware and everything that is needed to eat. 
and the toaster is like the Golgi bodies. It assembles many different things. This is my animal cell. The parts of the animal cell are the cell membrane. It's this tub around the outside. Notice how it doesn't have two layers like the plant cell. That's because animals can move, plant cells cannot. The blue, again, is the vacuole. And then there's the nucleus. Again, it's a cap. The mitochondria, right there. They're the Q-tips. Then there's the endoplasmic reticulum. The green is the rough and the orange is the soft. The cytoplasm, the pink that fills everything in around the edges. The ribosomes are right here. The purple nerds. Then there's the Golgi bodies. Once again, they look like deflated sacs. The function of the animal cell and its parts. The cell membrane. Its main function is to keep out everything on the outside. But it also allows animals to move, like plant cells. They cannot because they have a cell wall. Then there's the nucleus. The nucleus is like the power source. It helps control eating, movement, and reproduction of cells. Then there's the vacuoles. They store everything. They store food and cellular waste and everything that could harm the cell or help the cell. Then there's the mitochondria. The mitochondria's job is to di digest everything in the cell. Then there's the Golgi bodies. They assemble. They assemble all the things that the animal cell will need. Then there's the cytoplasm. It's like a filler. It fills all the empty space in the cell. Then it's the endoplasmic reticulum. It acts as the manufacturing and packaging system. It does, it manufactures things and makes things that the cell needs and makes sure they're ready for, to use. Then there's the ribosomes. They build the proteins of the cell so the cell can eat. Function of a cell. The function of a cell is to make up everything in this world. The cells are categorized in two categories, plants and animals. The animal cells can move, so the animals can move. The plant cells are stiff, so that the plants don't flop over. They make up everything in this world, people, animals, plants, and much more. This is the nucleus. It's just like the caps in the plant and animal cell, except bigger. The parts of the nucleus. The nuclear pores. The nuclear envelope, which is the inner layer. The nuclear membrane, the outer layer. The chromatin, the rubber bands. The nucleoplasm, which is the white behind the chromatin and the nucleolus. The function of the nucleus and its parts. The nuclear pores. The job of the nuclear pores is to regulate the passage of proteins and RNA. They allow free passage to water and other small molecules. Then there's the nuclear envelope. The job of the nuclear envelope is to act as a second membrane. Then there's the nuclear membrane. The job of the nuclear membrane is to hold the organelles inside the nucleus and protect them from the outside world. The nucleolus. The job of the nucleolus is to hold proteins and RNAs that are not related to the ribosomes. Then there's the chromatin. The job of the chromatin is to package DNA in a smaller volume than the ribosomes. The structure of the cell membrane. The parts of the cell membrane are the lipids. These are the orange colored balls on the top with the stems facing towards each other. 
there's a layer on the top and the bottom. Then there's the protein channel. It allows the protein molecules to get sucked through into the cell. The structure this way, it helps the cell by it lets all the protein mo molecules in but keeps everything else out. Structure of the cell wall. Parts of the cell wall. Cellulose microfibrils, cross-linking glycan, and pectin. All these things help to keep plant cells stable, which helps the plant perk and makes it stay strong and stiff. Without all these things working together, plants would not be how plants are. They wouldn't be stiff and strong. They'd be droopy and plants wouldn't be able to survive. The middle lamella and plasma membrane make, keep all these things together to make the cell wall. Thanks for watching.